welcome to this video which will show you how to convert a binary number into a deanery number or a decimal number. So we're going to do first, we've got our um, file saved. This is uh, working it with uh, Excel online version. Down here I'm just going to change the, the name of the tab from sheet 1 to binary to deanery. And we're going to give it a title. Binary to deanery converter, and that is in cell A1. Now it looks like that goes across to B1 and C1, it doesn't. So what we have to do is format that. So I'm just going to select with my mouse, left click, hold down, across to columns C, D, E, F, and click on Merge and Center. And then we're going to make that bold and increase the font size to something that you're happy with. Okay, now we're going to get our binary grid and we're going to work with an 8-bit number. So up from the left hand side, 128, 64, 32 and I'll just go over this in a second, 8, 4, 2 and 1. So what we're doing each time is doubling our number and we end up coming up with an 8-bit number. So each one of these uh, is a bit. So if we were to have a number, for example, like this, each one of these zeros and ones is a bit. And when we've got 8 bits, we call that a byte. So our lowest unit of information is a bit. Then we've got something called a nibble, which is four bits. We've got a byte, kilobyte, megabyte, gigabyte, terabyte. And it does go beyond that, but these are the only ones that we're interested in at the moment. Okay, so a kilobyte is a thousand bytes. Whoops. Megabyte is a thousand kilobytes, KB for short. A gigabyte is a thousand megabytes, MB for short. And a terabyte is a thousand gigabytes. It's worth mentioning that at this point. So we're just going to put that in there eight bits. And that's four bits. Well, this is our smallest storage of information, uh, units of information, it's a bit. So this is our number here, 00101100. Now I can calculate that in my head. Each time there's a one in the, in the column, we add the corresponding number up. So that would be 32 plus eight plus four. And that will give us a number, if my math is correct of 44. But what we want to do is get the spreadsheet to work that out for us. And there's a nice simple method of doing this. Apologies, just pause for a second there. Uh, what we need to do is we need to use a, a formula, which is going to be an if formula. So we're going to say equals if open brackets and our logical test is we're going to test this cell here if that cell is equal to 1 then we want it to do something so what we want it to do is to be the same number as that so we can either type in the number which is what I'm going to do for simplicity or you could actually click on the cell above it there to name it otherwise so we're going to say um, comma, which is else, which is our value of true, if false, is zero. And we can just test that by putting a one in there, and that will change to one, two, eight. I'm going to change that back to zero. Okay, and what we can do for, for ease is we can fill that over. So if you just hover your mouse, bottom right-hand corner of that cell, and bring it over here. Just drag that over there, and that will fill out. 
We've got a bit of a problem though because that's, that's saying 128 every time there's a 1. So we just need to change the formula each time to the corresponding. So rather than 128, we're going to give the corresponding number that is in that particular column. So 64 here. Hit enter and go into your formula again up here in the formula bar. 32. Hit enter each time. And just make sure you put the right number in. Eight there, hit enter, and four this time, nearly there, and two. Don't forget if you've um, accidentally deleted any commas, you need to put them back in, and it's just one that time. Okay, so that should work now. Yeah, I can just test that, and we've got a, oops. Just test that by putting the, the one in, changing the zero to one. Um, so what we're going to do is make another formula here to calculate our deanery number. So we're going to say, I'm going to do it in column, in this, in my case, column J and cell four, so J4. I don't want to do it in this particular row because we will be uh, hiding that in a minute. So equals sum open brackets and I'm going to select all of these cells along here close brackets and hit enter and that will give us our value and you, again you can test that by changing these around and you'll see that that updates the last thing I want to do here or almost the last thing is to hide this column because I don't really want to see I want people to think it's magic so I'm going to click on the five there to highlight the whole row right click on it and hide row. It's also hidden my uh, unit value there as well, but never mind. Uh, so that is our value. So just want to tidy that up a little bit. I'm going to make that into a table just to make that more organized. And I'm just going to say deanery equals I'll just right align that. I'll just make it look a little bit tidier. I'll put a little um, board around that um, and neaten that up there. So deanery equals 105. And that's our binary to deanery calculator. Done.